Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Illustrator and the new repeat feature. This is in 2.21, so it doesn't work. None of this works in earlier versions. So 2021, obviously, hopefully in the future as well. And the Polar Grid. So you can see Polar Grid design here, and you can use it within the repeat feature. So you can modify this, and I'm gonna show you a few steps. It's great. Now the Polar Grid tool, where is it? Well, you can find it here, Polar Grid, normally under the Line Segment tool. So Polar Grid there, just generate with Polar Grid, and you can modify it as well. Double click on there and it brings up the grid options. Now you've got five and five as default, but you can modify those. So if you want like 10 or 15, and you also can create variations where you've got, instead of five, you can use like zero in the value. And I will go through some of those. So what you can do now, key panel properties. Unfortunately, it's not a live feature. I would love to see a lot of these things like rectangular grid, this, all these things will be wonderful as live features. Sadly, they're not live objects. So window and properties for the properties. And now I'm just gonna change the stroke. So there's there, I'm gonna go with six, maybe go with stroke. And now it's probably best to change all these things, various profiles, etc., beforehand. Because you might find when you go into the repeat that sometimes you can't change things. So really decide before when you've done all this, that's probably the best way. I'm not gonna use that in this case, but I wanted to show you that you can obviously got lots of options there. But also what you can do, you can also go over here to maybe live paint bucket. This has got no fill at the moment. You could of course fill it with something. I mean, you can always just go over here, click there, maybe make it full red. It was selected, that would be of course helpful. There, like that. However, I don't want that. What I want is just to independently do those. So I'm just gonna to go to Live Paint Bucket and just hover over there, maybe red. Click, just click there, click there. Use the arrows, the left and right arrow to change the color very quick and easy. And I'm gonna fill it with yellow and just do another one again. Just go there and there, okay. So you've got this design. Now what you need to do now is you've got to go and expand it object and expand just won't allow it to be worked on in repeat if you don't do that just move that out of the way slightly and you've got your design there now you can of course resize it you can do all those sort of things you can change this stroke setting go there make it maybe a bit thinner however once you've done that go to object and repeat and radial you could use grid as well as mirror as well so radial and you can see your radial design now. I'm defaulting to 12. You can change it in this properties again, window and properties. Always love to quickly show where it is. I know people are quite often ask, they tell me, where is it? You always mention these things. Where are they? Well, it's in the window. All these panels you can find generally in the window. A bit unusual. I always think they should be maybe called panels. But no, it's called window. Whatever the reason. So you can change that and you can also manually change that. So you can create some really unusual colorful designs. And you can also just move that out of the way. You can change the number of instances. Now I'm gonna use four. Four is just easy. You could use 12, 15, 20, whatever. But I'm just gonna use that. Just makes it easier just to visually see. And then you don't lose sight of this. Sometimes what happens if you've got so many and you've got so many lines that sometimes you just can't see some of these controls to actually manipulate things. But what you can also do, you can double click. Just double click in. Sometimes it doesn't seem to respond. It does eventually. And you can go into the design and you can see you can modify the design and create some unusual combinations of that design. And sometimes drag it off the other screen. What you can also do, you can go over here to the direct selection tool and you can modify the individual points. So if you want to change it and you can see you can create some very abstract designs doing this. I'm not, obviously not just randomly selecting various, <laughs> just for, to, for example, to show you that you can manipulate them and you can manipulate different parts and move things around, all that sort of stuff to create all kinds of different designs. However, I'm not gonna, Use that. I want to go with the basic design there. And I mean, we're in isolation mode at the moment. 
So you can always come out of that. And of course you can always rotate and shear and all those sorts of things. And also you can apply effects. So if you want to, you can always go to a there, effect, and maybe some of the past ones, or maybe distort and transform, maybe go for all the zigzag. And you can see you can create design there. Just change that to create some very interesting and unusual designs. Make it smooth. Cancel there. As well as maybe go to effect and blur or something, Gaussian blur. So you can just blur it like that. No, I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to show you can do it. Also, what you can do, so you go over here, select, double click on there, you can resize, and now we're still we're in isolation mode. You can do object and envelopes, but you can't. That's one slightly annoying feature. So if you want to use the distort, you're gonna to have to do it before you start the whole thing. And you can always go back. So what you can do, I'm gonna to go to just come out of there. So if you suddenly decide, you know what, I really wish I'd walked that before, now I can't. Or what you can do, you can always, and unfortunately this is slightly annoying, you can always go to repeat and release, and then you just get back to the original design. With the original design, now what you can do is object, envelope, distort, make with warp, so you can warp it like that, or use one of the other ones, perfectly reasonable, flag maybe. Always creates a very unusual one, that one. Or create your own warp, of course. Click OK. So you've got that design. Again, object, and go down to repeat. You won't be able to use it, so you have to go to object and expand. So you've expanded it like that. Now you've got this slightly distorted design. You can now go to object and repeat and radial. You can get your design there and modify the number of instances and manipulate that design. So. It's just a pity that you can't. I'm going to remove that now because I'm just going to go back to this one and just show that you can double click there. I'm going to make it 10 number of dividers. And you can see you've got a more intense design there. And again, you can go over here to the properties and you can change, maybe make the fill, maybe go for red, maybe make the stroke there and click there, maybe make a dash. You can do all those sort of things, profiles, Set a profile there, and so on, so on. So with that, oh, that, with that design there, what you can do, object, and go down to repeat and radial, and you can see the design there. And again, what you can do, you can always go to set it to four, just makes it easier to see. So you can see your design and modify that. And again, if you want to, double click, and you go into the design, and you can then squeeze it, rotate it, and you can create some very interesting combinations. Again, rotate that design, maybe change some of the points, select individual ones so you can distort, those sort of things, <laughs> if you want to do that. So I'm just going to come out of that now. Now, also, what I want to do, just before I open to the grids, etc., just going to double click there. Bring up that, and uh, you, what you can do, you can set that to that one there. You can set them to zero. So if you want to, you can just go and create just a very basic design like that, which is just basically a ring design. And again, go over here to stroke, like, so you can see it a bit better. You can see a design there. And again, you can apply it if you want to. You can always go to object, you also go to some of the effects, maybe 3D, create a 3D design from it. You can always do that, but object, and you could again, obviously, expand it and then all those sort of things and warp and expand. However, I'm not going to do that. But I want to go to repeat and radial. And you can see the radial there. Move that around. And you can, of course, change those. And again, I'm just going to go with four. just makes it so much easier. Double click on that. And you can see into the design. And you can resize that. You can create some very abstract designs. and rotate and of course you can still modify this so you can change your opacity if you want to change your opacity change the stroke change that and so on so on for that as well so all kinds of different designs rotate it like that now 
just going to come out of that. And what you can also do, you can of course use repeat with that. So object and go down to repeat and radial. So you can see you can create a radial of a radial. So you can create some very extreme designs using this feature. And again, you can maybe don't want it that one. It's a lot over there. I can set it to four and you can see the design there and you can bring that in there and create some. And again, it's all still editable. So double click on there and you can see the original design there, but you can then rotate and modify and uh, rotate it. It allows you to do it. Sometimes it's probably best to, right, it's just, sometimes there's one trouble when you go into this, you actually can't, oh, there it is. I was gonna say, try and look for the point, couldn't see the point on the screen. We've got lots of like reds and lines and things, or suddenly you start looking at it thinking, where is the thing? And again, you can still continue to modify it and modify that so you can go into that one as well and continue to edit that design. So you can see, you can create some very interesting and weird and wonderful designs using just the ring design, which you can get via the polar grid. Main, main, if you want to, you can always change all the, now you can come out of the isolation mode, just come out up top, just up here, come out and you've got your design. Okay, next one, I'm gonna do a polar grid tool, double click, and I'm going to use, instead of that 10, I'm going to use, go down there, and I'm going to use, say, oh, why not, 20. You can see, you can get that sort of design. And you can ungroup, so you can always ungroup that. So you can always turn around and say, you know, object, ungroup, and get rid of it. So you just delete that, you see that circle around the edge, and you've got this line. And what you can do, you can just go down here, and you've got that. And again, also go to stroke, and go to profile and you can change the profile. Create all kinds of different designs and recolor it. Don't have to go, maybe create multiple copies. And then once you've done that, select both of those and go to object and repeat and radial. And you can see the design there. And again, reduce that down. So you can see all kinds of different designs can be created very quick and easy, which you can then Rotate that again, and if you want to, double click into the design and tweak the individual, even the individual parts. So you can just turn around and say, oh, well, let's go and change some of that line there. You can see they're all independent and they're all updated. So you can create a real <laughs> kind of mess. However, that I just wanted to show you those things. Now, for finish, just going to go there again to the, i use that one. Let's just put it back to the default, five and five. That's the easiest thing, five and five. Just create a very basic grid and then five over there. What you can also do, there's also not just repeat and radial. What you've got is object and repeat and grid. And you can see your grid design there. And again, you can still edit those if you want to edit those. Though I must admit, editing it in the grid mode is not so convenient as the radial, personally. And you can modify the distance spacing between them. You can increase or remove that. And also you can make sort of like one line. If you want to make one line designs, very quick and easy using that. And again, you can edit the designs, so double click on there. But if you change that, you'll notice what happens is it squeezes like that. It doesn't sort of give you any space and you have to go out and modify the spacing if that's what you want to do. So once you've done that, you can, of course, change the color, maybe add a fill there, maybe change the stroke, click there, and maybe profile, and just change the profile there, come out of that there, and again, you've got that design there. Change the spacing, add some more. And of course, once you're happy with it, once you've, so you've got your design, you, you think, wow, that's great. What you do, object and expand. So you can expand the whole thing and you've got your design there. And of course, you've got some added additional bits, which maybe you might like to remove. But you can then, of course, apply first. Rotate it if it lets me do it. There you are, rotate it. Object and envelope distort, make with warp. And you can see, you can create some 
very unusual warped designs like that. Okay, next one, and the final one, and that's just go over here, and again, crater design there, and stroke, so you can see it, five, change the color maybe, and change my dash, new, let's just go for, right, let's go for red. And what you can also do, of course, you can add additional paths as well, or duplicate, hold down the ultra option key, duplicate it, then go there, and maybe make it, well, I don't want that, that one, that, so that there. So you get a nice shadow effect. Of course, what you can do, you can always go to effect, and go to blur, Gaussian blur, so you can blur it, so you can create a nice sort of shadow effect there. Now with that selected, what you can do, you can go to object, they're both selected, object and repeat, and this time mirror, and you've got mirror design there. And again, you can just drag that so it goes over. Now work from the left side. You can occasionally access the right side. However, it defaults to working with the left side. So just work with that. And you can rotate it and again, go like that. And create all kinds of very unusual designs. And you can continue to add and remove. So if you decide to, you know what, I'm going to have a slightly different design there and also you can move this as well so if you want that to go around like that now once you've done that you can come out there you've got that design you can then also go to object and repeat and mirror and you can create another one you can see that design can be manipulated and changed etc again rotated and they're still live. So if you want to, you can double click and edit the previous mirror as well. So you can do all those sorts of things in there. And that's reflected in the mirror as well. Well, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Finity Photo, Finity Designer, Illustrator, Photoshop, Critter, Painter, and many others. Also, please subscribe to Graphic Edge channel. Add videos near enough every couple of days. Also, a dislike or like, also some comments, maybe what things, maybe I should explain a little bit better, slow down or speed up, whatever, please let me know in the comments, always appreciated. Oh, thank you much.